in this video we would like to give you a first impression of the new profile fitting search match functionality in the upcoming match version 4 and we will demonstrate this by applying the new functionality to the same example that we have already used in our tutorial video advanced qualitative analysis this old video basically deals with the problems that were associated with the detection of minor and trace phases in match version 3. And as you may remember from this video, it was pretty easy to find the main phase zinc oxide, while it turned out to be a little bit tricky to also find the remaining two phases corundum as well as calcium fluoride. We will now show you how the new profile fitting search match can make your work much easier. Let's start by importing the diffraction data. The same example from the IOCR quantitative analysis round robin. And we would also like to apply the same elemental restraints that we have already used in this older video. That is, we would like to just allow elements from the first and second period from the periodic table, as well as calcium, zinc and aluminium. So this may be the result of an uh, X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy analysis. So at this point, we'll just start the new functionality here by pressing this button. Okay, the first search match run has been completed and we now see, just like in the old example, that zinc oxide has been determined and we can simply select it as matching by pressing the spacebar. Okay, the second phase has been determined, aluminium oxide, and we can also select it as matching. So, the third phase is also clear, which is calcium fluoride. Let's select it. And now the analysis obviously has been completed. No more phases have been found. So all three phases that we have also found in our earlier video are present. And just like in the old video, we will now run a read felt refinement um, to get the phase amounts. In this case, we have a new menu command quantify by Riedfeld refinement and this runs an automatic Riedfeld refinement calculation that has now been finished and as you can see the results are the same as in the old video with a little bit more calculation time but with much less user interaction and uh, effort in this case. So let's finally display the report. And here it is. Get the analysis result with the pie charts and the table. Thanks for watching.